What you're looking at, guys, is the original peak doorway. It's a trifold door as well as the lid that came off of a 1988 21-foot Seahawk. It's actually an old Chris Craft. And welcome back. We're now in Ocoee, Florida, and who we have on the program is Andrew Brown. And Andrew heads up Boat Outfitters. Dot com and these guys build a lot of replacement pieces for the boat and this trifold door is no exception i had the guys remove it from mm -hmm. the craft they drove it here in a pickup truck you took the pieces how did you transform this into this because that is gorgeous my friend well we uh we, we took the parts we were able to put it up on our digitizing table we had engineers trace around the entire outside shape of the the uh, door and the hatch uh, they're able to make 3d models at that point from it and uh, able then to cut on our cnc routers and uh, make finished king starboard replacement parts you know a lot of boaters have experience with louvered doors at night if they're sleeping in the cabin mosquitoes can still get in right. there what did you do to enhance this actual part on a on a boat right well we, we, we you know we wanted to replace the door but we also wanted to improve upon it so what we did is we actually milled and were able to integrate uh, screens behind the louvers to eliminate mosquitoes being able to get down into the cabin okay now this also was original on that Chris craft and you can see that this is starboard but it rattles when you're running it's also got kind of junky hardware on it and there's a lot of rust on it you really can't mill King Starboard or sand it no. efficiently. It's right. going to kind of mess up the finish. It's probably best to get a replacement. Mm -hmm. But how did you make this better? Well, the great thing about, about this door, compared to a more uh, complicated cabin entry door like we're showing here, is that it's so easy to pull off, measure your hole cut out, and order exact, an exact replacement. And in this case, what we were able to do is mill into the returns and integrate a bulb seal. And this is not an adhesive seal that's going to pull off. It's actually cut with a T-slot and pressed into place. And what it does is, to your point, it eliminates any rattle of the door against the returns. So when you're running, your door is completely quiet. It also does cut down on water intrusion. It makes it more water resistant. So this is a real nice replacement part for, uh, okay, for that Okay, so you door. can just take a measurement, go to the website, and order it. It's that simple. Something more intricate, they're going to have to get it to you so that you they can would. actually make a replica. Absolutely. Okay, let's go down here. You might have a little bit extra space uh, in an inner liner or in a bulkhead or something like that. That's what this is an example of. This piece came off from an anchor locker. The guy had a little bit more room. He used it. You made it deeper. Yep. Again, out of the King Starboard. Okay, take a look at these doors right here, guys. You might have one of these in your center console, and they make starboard version, also acrylic versions, but your door might be in great shape. Mm -hmm. You might just need to replace a pitted frame. They actually sell that. We do. What's this door all about? This is a sliding cabin entry door. We do a lot of bending of acrylic. We've made a lot of the acrylic doors that are on many of the boats that are out there. And if they need replacing, we have those available as well. Fantastic. Could you give us a little practical advice to keep things a little bit more uh, uh, watertight? I know, I know King Starboard needs to be mechanically fastened. Yeah. It certainly does need to be mechanically fastened. We, we pre-drill all these holes, but it is a, a good practice to go ahead and run a bead of silicone around the outside of the frame before you set it into place and mechanically fasten it so that you eliminate any water from running down behind the seam from where the frame sets against the fiberglass. It is a lot less expensive to buy replacement parts and make your boat beautiful again, especially if, you know, the average age of a boat today is like 18 years old, rather than buying a brand new craft, right? Okay, that's very, very expensive. And a lot of people need this resource at Boat Outfitters. How do they get you and get information on these replacement parts? They can visit us at uh, BoatOutfitters.com. Uh, but John, don't forget, sometimes your hardware needs to be replaced even before your door does. We have all the replacement locks, latches, hinges. We even sell the replacement seal, dash shocks, all available at BoatOutfitters.com.